Dick Fairburn here. I just came across some smokeless powder that went bad. I've never seen that in 50 more or more years of reloading. So I thought I'd show you a little bit about what it looks like and how I got rid of it, burn it safely. Uh, but it, it had all the signs of powder having gone bad. I have powder that's I've had that pretty old. I had a friend die several years ago and I helped his wife kind of liquidate all of his guns and reloading supplies and I ended up with a, a container of some old powder. Not that old. I mean here's one marked 88. I, I usually mark the dates on here. Here's one uh, 82. Uh, this is even older. This was from my friend's collection, and as was this uh, this 2400. He had four cans of IMR 4227 uh, powder I've never used before, but I thought, hey, you know, I got four pounds of powder. They they might have cost five dollars when he bought them, but they're a whole worth a lot a whole lot more than that now. And I was loading some 44 Magnums for a carbine, and and 4227 might be a pretty good powder for that. So I got one of those cans out and I noticed the, the same kind of IMR cans we see here, these metal cans. And the whole outside of it was kind of rust encrusted. I didn't think that much about it. I thought it had been pretty well stored. I didn't realize why, but when I poured some into a powder measure, I noticed a very fine kind of red dust settling into this powder. I stirred my finger around it and came up with red dust on my finger. And somewhere along the line I'd heard or read that if powder gets a kind of a red dustiness to it or if it has a very acrid smell that it has gone bad. Uh, most powder, if you smell this stuff now, it's, it's got a very clean kind of solvent set, scent to it. Still does. So I smelled the stuff and it was just like smelling salts. It was terrible. So I thought, well, gee, this can has gone bad. So I sorted through and eventually, you know, two of the cans had rust on the outside. Two did not. Two looked pretty much pristine. But all four of them had that acrid odor and that, that fine red dust whenever you would pour the powder. And I thought, gee, this stuff is bad. I'm not going to use it to reload anything with. And I've heard over the years, some people say, hey, it's primarily nitrogen-based, so just go sprinkle it on your garden or throw it in the driveway. It'll decompose and won't hurt anything. But I've also been told that the, the safest way to get rid of smokeless powder, and this is smokeless, not black powder, um, is just to burn it. And when you burn it in the open, it actually burns rather slowly. It, it's not a whoosh. It's not a, an explosion like you would get from black powder. So I ended up I, I burned one pound just to see what would happen out on my my kind of burn pile where I have a cookouts and stuff. And eventually I checked all four cans. It was all bad, so I burned three. And, I, and I'll show you a little video clip of uh, how to burn it. I just poured out three pounds in a pile, kind of ran a trailer off to the side, struck it with a, uh, a lighter, and burned it up. But be aware for these powders. Now, now, I have used powders that are literally 40 or 50 years old, and as long as they're stored well in the original containers, I've never had one go bad. But this stuff did, and, and that rust on the outside, I found, came from the inside. So it just it makes me think that IMR had a bad batch of IMR 4227 that somehow wasn't chemically stable and went bad. So pay attention for that. I mean, most of these are cardboard kind of containers or metal containers like these. As long as they've got a good clean smell, as long as they don't have that red fine dust when you pour them, they should be safe to use. And I've used a lot of very old powder very effectively, but uh, be on the lookout for this. I'll show you that burn video. When I pour this powder out, watch for the kind of brown, powdery. That kind of rusty brown powder coming out of it. I've never seen powder go bad. 
but I've always heard when it does smokeless powder when it go, when it goes bad you'll see that rusty color in there and it has actually rusted through one of the cans and good new powder should have a uh, kind of a solvent scent to it and I've always heard if it has a kind of an acrid scent that gets up in your nostrils bad that's another sign that it's bad but you can even see rust inside the edges of this can you could probably just scatter this out in your driveway and it would decompose but uh, I'm gonna burn it to get rid of it here's three pounds I already burned one IMR 4227 most of these the dates on the cans I kind of inherited this from a friend a few years ago when he died um, most of it appears to be about 20 years old is all 306 so that's less than 20 years old but four cans of this two are not rusted through but the other two are is bad powder I've never seen it before Some people think it explodes when you set it off like this. Smokeless powder just burns. Uh, surprisingly slowly. So that's three pounds of IMR 4227. It's 20 or more years old. I have other cans of powder that are 40 or 50 years old and they're just as good as the day they were made. So I will have to check further in my friends because there's probably another dozen cans of various IMR powders still in the, in the metal cans. I'll have to check and see. That's the safest way I know to get rid of it.